Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A Danish teenager, Simone, is about to go into an exam when her dad shows up. Quick, she needs to come, it is going to rain and they cannot be here when it starts. This is seriously bad precipitation. It makes the acid rain of the 80s look like Evian. There is a deadly virus in it that kills people quickly and horribly. Dad works for a corporation called Apollon that may have something to do with it. Simone's little brother, Erasmus, who has been ill, is also connected in some way. Erasmus is the key to everything, Dad says. They make it to Apollon's underground bunker, just before the first drops arrive. We follow a couple of them, rain drops, down from above, little water bombs of death. Dad, after suiting up, goes out again to save the world. Mum ends up outside without an umbrella, soon she is writhing around and projectile vomiting, then dead. So it is just Simone and Rasmus in the bunker. For six years. Long enough for Rasmus to grow up and require a change of actor. After the dramatic opening, the first episode is all down there, with the two of them. There is an almost unbearable weight of claustrophobia, tension, and fear, only occasionally lifted by a moment of sibling touchingness, such as a lovely jump about dancing scene. Alba August gives a powerful, affecting performance as Simone. That is not going to be it though, is it, 8 episodes of the two of them in their bunker, environmental catastrophe, and dystopia from under the ground, with subtitles? I am not sure my sanity, let alone theirs, could take it. No. At the end of the first episode, their air supply becomes blocked, they have to come out, gasping into a dangerous new world. There are other survivors to encounter, first of all, the group of young people who blocked the air supply in order to get Simone and Rasmus to open up. If you were a fan of the legacy, I was a massive one, you will be pleased to see some old friends. This is Denmark, remember, even with the international might of Netflix behind it, there are still only about 11 actors in the country. And so the rain becomes something more interesting. Not just a knuckle-gnawing, post-apocalyptic thriller ride, not just a series about whether humanity can survive such a catastrophe. It asks whether people can learn to care for and love each other again, establish right from wrong, be human.